Science is meant to be an empirical discipline, but why? What does that mean? And what is the alternative? Empiricism is often described as the theory that learning occurs through sense experiences. The way to discern what is true is by experiencing what is happening in the real world. The way to understand what's happening in the real world is through our senses. This is part of the belief system underlying science. This is an assumption of the scientific method. It isn't the only belief system though, and we should be honest about its counterpart, rationalism. Rationalism refers to the idea of discerning truth through rational argument, through deduction. Let's illustrate the difference using God, because I haven't received enough angry comments on my channel yet, and honestly, this is the history of philosophical thought. A rationalist argument for God might go something like this. Nothing can be greater than God. Any good thing would be better if it were real. I can imagine God, and he's amazing! Therefore, the real God must exist because a real version would be better than any imaginary version, and God is, by definition, the greatest thing that exists. Chew on that. I'm bastardizing this entire argument, but if you're intrigued, check out Anselm in the ontological argument. Empiricists would scoff at this idea because it fails to check in the real world for any tangible evidence. Remember, it's only tangible evidence if it can be perceived by the senses. An empiricist might say, if you can't measure it, it doesn't exist. The empirical approach would say that rational arguments are only defensible if and only if they are supported by tangible evidence. Tangible evidence is provided only through the senses. To be an empirical discipline is to look for tangible evidence through the senses. Now clearly we don't exclusively use our senses to experience the world any longer. Like, what sense organ am I using to detect gravitational waves, neutrinos, atoms, or motivation? The definition of empiricism has been stretched by scientists as technology allows us to observe the effects of real phenomena indirectly. Today we might more accurately describe that tangible evidence requires some sort of measurement. A measurement can be obtained through many different technologies. A ruler, a questionnaire, a telescope, a particle detector, a blood test. As technology gets better and science advances, our measurements seem to rely less on senses. A system, device, or technology which can be changed or respond to some external stimulus can stand in for our senses and act as a measure. The empirical approach is a foundation for science. It's one of the assumptions of science. What that means, then, is that no matter how good your idea might be, no matter how rational your argument, if the objective measurements are inconsistent with your argument, all the worse for your argument. Notice that I'm not defending empiricism as the correct approach here. This is just an assumption. Scientists would tend to argue that it has led to all sorts of fantastic discoveries which have improved human life, but then... What if the universe and everything in it was actually only created five minutes ago? Your memories were created five minutes ago to seem like they were much older. All those dinosaur bones were pre-worn to seem really old. Everything that seems old was just created to seem that way. There are rational and empirical, mathematical and fantastical arguments both for and against God. There are some who follow rational approaches and some who follow empirical approaches, but science is an empirical discipline. So while you're in a research environment, you'll be expected to think like an empiricist. That means that at the end of the day you'll be expected to measure something if you want us to believe anything you're saying. 